nearly half of the U.S. West has emerged from drought this spring, but the welcome wet conditions haven't entirely replenished the region, scientists said Tuesday. The quantity of precipitation is impressive, but the fact that snow stuck around this late in the season is perhaps more rare, said Joseph Casola, NOAA's Western Regional Climate Services director. A continued slow melt helps reduce danger of flooding and delays the onset of the worst wildfire danger in the region. Meanwhile, all that rain and snow means California can provide 100% of the water requested by cities and farms for the first time in years, and is flooding farmland with surplus runoff to replenish precious groundwater. The big question is how much relief this winter's snow will bring to the Colorado River, which has been depleted by climate change, rising demand, and overuse. A May 1 forecast by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center said up to 11 million acre-feet of water, or 172 percent of average, could flow into Lake Powell, a massive reservoir that stores Colorado River water for Arizona, Nevada, California, Mexico, and dozens of tribes. That amount could be less depending on how much water the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation spreads among upstream reservoirs. According to the Bureau's 24-month operating plan, Lake Powell could rise to around 3,590 feet by midsummer, up 60 feet from its current state. That's a level that hasn't been seen since 2020.